Hi, I was a Division I college soccer coach for 20 years, and now I spend my time helping high school athletes try to find a college for them. When I talk to high school soccer players about playing at the Division III level, they usually turn up their nose and dismiss it right away. But I'm going to give you three great reasons why you should at least spend some time considering it on this edition of College Soccer Recruiting, Insider Secrets. Okay, reason number one why you should at least look at Division III schools when you're trying to pick a school to play college soccer at. The first reason with Division III is that there's more Division III schools than at any other level. For example, in Division I, there's 200, just a little bit over 200 men's Division I programs. But at the Division III level, there's over just over 400, okay? In women's soccer, there's three, a little over 300 Division I programs. And again, at the Division III level, there's 440 Division III programs. So by eliminating Division III schools, think about this, you're eliminating the majority of soccer programs in the country. And if you think about the number of soccer players in the country, most college soccer players, you guessed it, were Division III players. Okay, so, as I mentioned before, I was a Division I head coach for 20 years. I don't know a lot about Division III. I need to know a little bit more, but I've got some experts helping us. First coach is Coach Brandon from Nebraska Wesleyan. He coaches the men's team there. It's a Division III program. The thing I like about Coach Brandon is he coached at the Division I level for a long time too, so he can kind of compare it. Coach Brandon, take it away. Hey, George, thanks. Just a couple thoughts on D3 and why you should choose it. Um, it's an option that's fantastic for so many players, whether you're looking for a really strong academic school uh, to better your, your life and your career after you're done playing soccer, or whether you just want a great environment to play the game. Um, you know, the kind of myth behind D3 is all oh, the levels not that high. Um, I'm here to tell you, I've coached Division One, and now I'm coaching Division Three. Uh, the level is fantastic. So um, especially on the men's side with so many guys that can play at a high level, um, it becomes about the tactic chess piece. So all of the wonderful things about the game that we can continue to bring um, are in D3. So it's a great option uh, along with all the other possibilities for players, but um, certainly a, a great way to look at what could be your future. Thanks so much, Brandon. Our next guest is Coach Corey. She's the coach at Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, New York, a Division III program. Before she was a coach at Poughke uh, Vassar College, she was a uh, coach at the Division I level with a perennial top 10 program, one of the top women's college programs in the country. So she's got a great insight into both levels. Coach Corey, let's hear from you. In my opinion, Division Three is a great option. You have the ability to be really competitive uh, on the soccer field while also being able to pursue a lot of the other things that you're passionate about. Um, you know, we've got incredible programs in the Division Three realm. I've coached at both the Division One and the Division Three level, and we get amazing talent uh, at both levels, um, you know, and I think that's that's a huge um, plus to playing at the Division Three level. That is a misconception for a lot of people. Um, you know, the biggest difference between Division One and Division Three is just the, the time that you spend with your coach. Um, at Division Three, we have 18 total weeks that we get to spend with you as coaches uh, with our players. And, you know, during that time is really important and it's really busy. But in the off season, you know, you're still training and you're still um, creating uh, opportunities to continue to improve and to grow um, while also having the ability and the flexibility in your schedule to really pursue other things. Uh, we have players go abroad. We have uh, players doing research. Um, you know, there's a lot of different options. We have players in the orchestra. Um, you know, I think that's what Division Three gives you. It gives an all-around perspective and an all-around educational experience. For uh, you. Thanks again, Coach Corey. Uh, listen, we talked about reason number one of why you should consider Division Three schools or at least look at them. Reason number two, here's an interesting fact. Did you know, on average, the average Division I soccer scholarship, and that's the main reason people choose Division I over Division Three is athletic scholarships, is the average scholarship is about 30% to 35%, roughly. That's not including academic aid and those kind of things. So a lot of times when you start comparing the cost of school and the opportunity to play at a collegiate level, that money, it might not make sense to do it. It's, it's worth looking at. Here's the other thing to think about, and this is with every single college in the country. Every single college in the country has more academic money than athletic money. So it's important for you to get good grades as we always hear about and maybe you can create a better opportunity for yourself financially at the Division III level, believe it or not, than Division I. It's worth looking into. 
Okay, we promised you three great reasons why you should consider Division three schools, and I've only given you two. But reason number three, and I'm just going to echo what Coach Corey said and what Coach Brandon said, is that soccer college playing soccer at the Division three level, college soccer can still be a big part of your life, but it ha won't be your whole life. As she mentioned, you can focus on other things, possibly internships, study abroad, research, and even other activities and sometimes other sports. So it's something to really think about when you look at the schools, what you want in your college experience totally. And that's the one reason why maybe you should look at Division Three. That winds up this edition of College Soccer Recruiting Insider Secrets. Thank you so much for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed the show and hope you will look, consider and look at Division Three programs. For 90% of you out there, it's not a bad idea to at least consider it. If you like the show, hit the thumbs up. That would be great. If you have any questions about Division Three, II, Division II, II, Division One, or anything in, regarding college soccer recruiting, feel free to email me at that email address below. I'll write you back. We'll help you out. Uh, once again, and feel free to subscribe. Love having it hearing from you. Thanks so much for watching, and that's this edition of College Soccer Recruiting Insider Secrets.